This is Lodden. She's a lovely boat. She's been in the hands of the current owner for 11 years and she's been so well loved and looked after. She was uh, she's 60 feet long traditional stern built in 1993 by Malcolm Pearson and fitted out by Phoenix. She's got a 15 mil base plate, solid as a rock. She's just been blacked May this year, 2023. She had six new anodes put on her at the same time. She also had a hull survey and that's available in the office for viewing. She was fully repainted in 2020. You can see how good the paintwork still is. So she's been super well cared for actually. Mixture of portholes and different size bus style windows. You see the solar power on the roof there, 480 watts. The Cratch cover is in good condition, that's less than five years old. Someone's left the ropes very untidily for me to trip or for Billy to trip over. Actually, I think I tied up this end. Two gas bottles in the forward locker there, 13 kilos. Really good sized well deck actually. Nearly six feet, five feet eight inches long. Collapsible table that folds up against that glazed cratch board. There's a under the table up against the bulkhead, there's a seat stroke for um, storage locker. There we go. Useful little dollies as well on the gunnels there for tying up. There's boaty bits in there. <clears throat> there is an anchor rope and chain on board. You'll see those in a sec. So it's a nice social area this actually, quite spacious. Glazed front bulkheads and front doors and doors open inwards actually which is quite unusual. Don't know if it's better or worse than opening outwards, but it's just unusual. Into the saloon, eight feet, eight inches long. Like a cottage sitting room, this. It's really sweet. A couple of armchairs. She's fitted out an oak face ply with oak trim. There's a TV aerial point in the corner there on, on that shelf. Cupboard in here. There is a Moonraker DigiPro TV aerial on the roof, actually, for the television. It's an awful lot of cupboards and storage places on the boat. Should have tried that one before we did the video, Billy. It does come off. And storage under this step as well. That's a Hobbit, the solid fuel stove. Head height on the boat, six foot three. All the lights are LED. And on we go into the dinette area. This has got storage underneath it, a shelf over it. This does turn into a spare double berth. And there are two tables. One's a single table and one under the gunnel against the walls there is a much larger table. You can seat six for dinner, actually. So there's the double table erected. A couple of collapsible chairs as well for additional seating around there. Plenty of room. Right, <clears throat> on we go. Bumble's at home today, I'm afraid. Bank holiday Monday, I have to work, he doesn't. Into the galley, there's some cupboards down here. The galley itself is seven feet long. Lots of storage. Lovely woodwork, actually. The worktops in here are laminate. The floor's tiled. The boat's carpeted throughout, except for the galley and the bathroom, which is lino. Large cupboard in there. Another cupboard there. Lots of little drawers up here. Lots of cupboards just for you, Mike. You know who you are. Always appreciate your comments on YouTube. A bank of, I think there's four drawers here. Yeah, one, two, three, four. The cooker's a new world for burner gas hob, oven and grill, all very very clean. Cupboards up here and drawers next to those. There's an extractor fan up there over the cooker. It's quite useful. Everything's been really thought about on the boat, actually, I have to say. Stainless steel sink, the drawer there, and cupboards underneath it. <clears throat> the drawer above this cupboard is a false one, it's under the sink. 
The fridge is a 230 volt larder fridge, runs off the inverter. It's run all night apparently and that only uses 1% of the battery power, it's super efficient. Electrics have all been done very intelligently on the boat. Part of side hatch down this corridor into the bathroom. The shower is a shower over a hip bath with this bifold door. It's probably a trifold door actually. The radiator in here. There's an extractor fan over the shower as well, I should mention. It's a ceramic sink, countersunk. Cupboards on the wall above the loo and under the sink as well. And there's the loo, it's a Thetford cassette. There did used to be a pump out on board, but uh, current owners have put in a cassette system. The central heating is an Eberspac of diesel fired central heating system. On into the bedroom, lots of cupboards in here. The beds are currently configured as two singles, but it does make into a full width cross bed double. If that's your preference, there's a wardrobe in here. I was mentioning the, uh, the central heating, it can be op rem operated remotely from your phone actually. So if you're going up to the boat on a winter's day, you can press whatever buttons you have to press and you get to a nice toasty boat. There are two stereos, Bluetooth stereos on board. One's in the saloon and there's the other one in the bedroom here. They're not CDs, you have to stream them through the internet or something, I don't really understand, but that's what, that's what they are. These two beds, one's um, six foot four and one's six foot long, two foot four inches wide. There's also a pigeon box in the roof over this. Oh, I didn't mention in the galley, I don't think there's a Houdini hatch. There's a pigeon box in here with a storm cover over it so you can keep the sunlight out in summer mornings. Airing cupboard there. The hot water tank's in there. Hot water is heated by the engine, the Eberspacker, or there is also an immersion heater on board. Full length dressing mirror there. And into the rear cabin, there's a washing machine in here. That's a Zanussi AquaCycle 1300. That does run off the inverter. Probably best have the engine running, but it does. There's the Victron Multi Plus Compact 1600 watt inverter charger. The engine's in here, it was a Beta 50. I have to say, I, I did the drive by on the boat for the video. She handles absolutely amazingly. Turns on a sixpence, and that's without a bow thruster, actually. Clean and tidy in there. The domestic bank of batteries is in there. 130 amp hours, three of those. AGMs. It's also one starter. A cupboard in there for boaty bits and pieces. And let's have a look at the view from the helm. There we go. Really, really good condition, this boat, given her age. That shows how much she's been loved and looked after, I suppose. All the lighting is LED. The cratch cover, uh, the cratch board I haven't mentioned is only five years old. I didn't mention on the engine, actually. Um, it's only done 35 hours since the last service. There's a landline on board. There's that Houdini hatch I mentioned. There's a landline on board. There are various USB charging points throughout the boat as well. And it's worth mentioning all these windows have secondary double glazing. All of the windows except the portholes and the galley, the galley window, I believe. Keep the boat super dry and warm in the winter. So there we go. Loddon. Lovely boat. For further photographs, a fully downloadable colour brochure and the price, go to our website www.rugbyboats.co.uk.